Hello everyone, my name is Adriana. I am the narrator and I will be explaining you all the landmark case of Harvey vs. Face. Hey guys, my name is Harvey. Hey guys, my name is Facey. So, let's begin. Harvey send a telegram stating. Will you sell us bumper hall pen? Telegraph lowest cash price. Facey traveling in a train, replied. Lowest price for bumper hall pen is £900. After few days, Harvey replied. Hello Facey, good morning. We agree to buy bumper hall pen for the sum of £900 asked by you. Please send us your title deed in order that we may get early possession. Facey shocked and replied. Sorry but I will not sell you this pen at the stated price. Harvey got angry and replied. What? We are in a contract and if you refuse to perform I will sue you in the court. At this Mr. Harvey was very very angry and Harvey sued Facey for the breach of contract and for specific performance. Harvey had his action dismissed upon first trial but won his claim on the Court of Appeal, which reversed the trial court decision, declaring that a binding agreement had been proved. The appellants, Facey, obtained leave from the Supreme Court of Judicature of Jamaica to appeal to the Queen in Council, that is the Privy Council. Then Harvey and Facey went to the Privy Council. We made a contract of selling of a bumper haul of pen through telegram but later on Facey breached the contract and refused to perform it. I want to sue him for specific performance. I just answered his second question which he asked me through telegraph so, there was no contract between us because there was no proposal was made from my side. First of all let me clear you Harvey. There was no concluded contract between you both. Since Facey only gave the quotation of price and did not make an offer. Even Facey didn't answer to your first question that will you sell the property. It cannot be treated as an acceptance of an offer to sell a bumper hall pen. Because it was just a request for information. So, mere statement of the lowest price at which the vendor would sell contained no implied to sell to the person who had inquired about the price. Facey won the case. It is important in case law that it defined the difference between an offer and supply of information. The Privy Council held that indication of lowest acceptable price does not constitute an offer to sell. Rather, it is considered a response to a request for information, specifically a precise answer to a precise question about the lowest acceptable price which the seller would consider. 